morning all. So it's Sunday, one day countdown till Queen's funeral, you know, public funeral. So it's early, I say it's early, it's about half seven. And um, we're just heading out, so some exciting stuff. So although we've got the um, All England Koi show next year, next week, not next year, we will have one next year, but this one's next week. We've actually managed to find a couple of fish, so very lucky to get something from exclusively Koi. Um, love their fish, but never thought I'd be able to afford one of their Koi. Um, but luckily on eBay, did some bidding, but I'll talk to you about that later on. And we're also going to go and see our friend at Amir at TKC Koi. So we're going to go and see, um, we get a little sneak peek of what he's going to have at the show. And uh, we've also bought a yellow Ogon off of him. So we've got about an hour and 20, hour and a half drive. And then when we get there, I'll switch the old Cameroonie on. See you in a bit. Look at these. So those that are coming to the All England Koi Show. Look at this, I can't, for size comparison, I can't. They are the hoosie. Hello. Was it Mini? Yeah, Mini. Mini. Yeah. Was it Sebers? Oh, no, I thought, uh, Probably be out the door, but he uh, might be lost. Lost? No, I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> Problem is, you film them and it doesn't. Doesn't do justice. Doesn't do justice. Yeah. See, even then, it still doesn't do it justice. Let me lift the net. Maybe they might swim without the net. You can't get the size on camera. Yeah, so it's because everything's really uniform as well. It just looks like a pond of little fossil. Well, when you sent the, um, the corns over, I didn't realise they were that big. I don't yeah, because think... I put them in that blue bowl, and because they just look really young. Oh, cheap is nice, isn't it? How big is he? Uh, 60. That's 60. 60. How big is the biggest one? I, I think I think 58 and 60, because they're both around that sort of size. It looks bigger than that. Yeah, because the body, isn't it? Yeah. But, but look, the Kajaku is the same size as it. It's just skinnier, and that's meant to be a female <laughs> Yeah. See, what I'm noticing, because you've heated, your Hiatsuris are a lot bigger than ours. Oh, is it? Massive difference. Oh, oh but bear in mind, I have added female Shinoda since. Ah, yeah, so that's the smaller why. ones, the smaller ones are the Murase. The Murase. I've only got, I think, two of them left of the Murase. Yes. So this one's a white, white base. Got, um, Corn. So this one, as it develops, is basically a golden corn. It's a fish and it develops between the, the scales. Hello! That's what makes the scalation <laughs> of the golden corn. Um, so this one's got my eye because it already see the scalation. As you might have guessed, we're at Amir's, TKC. We've got Mr. Sebers here with us. Dad's pond. Oh, this one's been. Right there, wave. Look who's here. Morning. Say hello, Amir. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I take out the achievement. That looks no, ugly. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. I'm not with all that. Is it a uh, carp yeah. pot? Carp pot. Oh, that's not that right. Yeah. What's this one? Yeah, that's a multi bit, but all the left is jack matting. Yeah. Uh, I use multi base as like a cartridge to hold jack matting, yeah. Yeah. Our wild meat is German engineering. Like, I've got customers that have had those. Jeez, I nearly dropped the phone then. If you've got a proper Awazi on, or protein, which is the original. Evie's happy. I'm looking at fish, she's looking at horses. Why was she talking to fish? If you buy a dog for a gram, like white white you didn't even have the blue so it's coming through yeah, nice but if you if it can just crack through the white skin yeah once it cracks through it will start coming through oh metallics as well aren't they? yeah jury and what's really nice in here is i was just saying to uh they they really ice the the commodity yeah that's nice Oh, is that what Kamonaroo is? Yes, yeah, blue oh, suit, black and white. Yeah. And then this one here. What's 
that. Metallic, so that's a metallic shower. So that's Tancho King Shower. It's a warm one. Just a quick one, not very exciting, but uh, well, I was very excited. A little Amazon order came just a minute ago. This isn't, uh, so this is for my garden hose. So, I've used plastic. Or are they? I think I've ditched them already, but normally I use like the plastic. But there's two seconds, you know, drop them a couple of times, they start leaking, whereas with the brass, it's uh, get a much stronger fit. So, unless you get excited about brass fixings on garden noses, this probably isn't much help to you nor is it very interesting but i myself am very interested all right just running oh there's the dog so you remember i'll put a picture up quickly do you remember there was two ferns in that corner and somehow i'd managed to kill them i say somehow i know how i killed them i didn't look after them um, i don't look after plants that's why i can't be trusted with them so my wife kindly bought me some new ferns but this time they are made of plastique but they're good looking pretty damn realistic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be genius and in the old pots i've removed the old ferns which i'd well and truly killed and what i'm going to do is i haven't got any of that nice plant stuff that you uh, like the polystyrene so what i'm going to use instead i don't really want to be pushing these into the mud because it won't last so flick to the next scene at the back of the shed, I got some thermal board. It's about 100 mil thick. So if I cut the sizes that I need, I can then poke my plants in. While I'm down here, so this area is an area down the end of my garden that I always set aside for rubbish, compost, etc. As we've done the construction in the garden and go for it looking nice. But this area, this trampoline isn't going to last another winter. So, what would fit in well in this area? I've always wanted to build a natural pond. So, I say natural, in-ground, rocks. I've got loads and loads of Yorkstone down here and sandstone. So, it'd be nice to do an in-ground. I've always wanted a bridge over and then try and use plants as the filtration as much as possible. So, uh, if anybody's got all natural ponds, and I'm not talking about keeping show winners in here or anything like that, but just like when the goldfish grow and the koi that, that grow on that I'm not overly impressed with, rather than try and move them on, actually just put them into my own little pond down the bottom. But the area is about 10 metres by 6 metres, so it'd be a substantial size. But yeah, let me know if you've got one. Send me some pics. There we go. All hail my genius. So all I need to do now is make some pretty holes I'll fit them in there. And what I'll do is I'll flip from this screen to finished. And there you go. So a bit of decorative bark in there so you don't see the insulation. And these are at me. Hopefully I can't kill these ones. Monty Don just phoned me off of the BBC said to me, Dave, where would you get them lovely ferns from? He said, they've grown so lush. I said, they're fake, Monty. He said, nah, I don't believe it. Right, let's get them in place and then I'll show you. Here we go. Excuse me, they're not the exact distance apart. I must sort that out. Oh, they're driving me mad, but uh, yeah, happy with that. Adds a bit of green. And, uh, I don't know if plastic grows, but we've got the light there anyway. So next job is when I installed this, I've got my airlines, haven't I, going to the pond, either corner. But I adjust them via this. And when I put the video out, I did say it was a bodge, but I had the usual. You are aware you can get valves, and yes, I was aware, but I was trying to bodge it. So for all you, should have done it this way. Yeah, you're 100% right, I should have done. So next thing is, we got to repair that. So spent a quid on eBay. Hopefully we'll make that look a bit prettier and make it a bit easier. Right. Tools for the job. If it ain't duct tape, it's cable ties. A pair of pliers, a cup of tea and hold up. 
almost forgot a bit a valve one pound on ebay and i think it was about 30p posting your package you can't beat that can you so right let's get that cut first things first my nexus is dua clean so any of those that have got a nexus or haven't got a nexus and wondering how you know when it needs cleaning well you should clean it regularly but out the chamber starting to drop because the water coming into the pond is going out a bit at a slightly decreased rate so water filtering through the easy part not quick enough to top it up so tomorrow today is friday or it's friday afternoon evening so uh, tomorrow we'll give that a, a spring clean so the air is off now so all i'm going to do is obviously i'll line that up get it to focus in i'll line that up trim it as necessary and I'll pop it on so uh, with the power of video magic et voila so at least now I can control so I've got the air pump these into the two discs obviously depending on one is actually um, air flows to it easier than the other so this one up here even though it's the furthest away it's always the most powerful so by controlling it to this end it allows me to put more out this end so Let's get it switched on, but for a couple of quid tops fix, I'm happy with that. Just round here while I'm prepping for the winter, next thing I need to think about is getting this pipe in properly and getting some insulation on this pipe work because uh, there's a lot of it. Although it's not on display, it's only going to help. So if you look up this end, now we've got the air back on. So I always have, I've got one air stone under because as I said before I tend to get um, a dead spot where the water's only flowing on top you tend to get a bit of a rip curl and the crack builds up in the corner so I've got an air stone under there to make sure that all stays clean but although we're what six meters from the filter shed probably a bit more to the air pump this one even though it goes on the most or the largest journey and through a T-piece, it still flows easier than the one here, which if you look, you just see a few bubbles. So now by turning the old tap, I can control between the two of them, he says. So now that one should have stopped, which it has. Oh look, and we got the air. So obviously that's now coming out too powerful out of this one. So I can just adjust it as per my requirements at the moment that's boiling rather than bubbling so let's just turn her down a little bit that should take that one down and it should allow the one up the top and that's back on i'm happy with that still not happy with these bloody nets right fake plant fake plant oh fake look what someone did to the dog ted how do we know your name yeah. You love the kids, Ted, huh? What have they done to you? What have they done to you? Stunning place. Boy quality is just unreal. Every single thing in here is immaculate. The set up. Absolutely stunning. Look at this. Absolute heaven. Hey? Okay. I'd never get away with this. Would I know Steve? Mommy wouldn't let me do this. But it is just absolutely crazy. It's... And Kevin is well, lovely guy. Kids are just unwrapping. 
So we come home with three fish. So we come home with two from, um, uh, one from Amir at TKC, TKC which was planned. Um, massive thank you to Amir. It's always, he's always a good host. He's a, a happy, 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 happy person to be around. And uh, yeah, whether you're buying koi or not buying koi, it's just nice to be in his company. And then Kevin, exclusively, so two came from Kevin. Again, incredible setup and just a very nice guy. One of the eight, really pleasant, a family man, down to earth, full of good advice. And yeah, no, not what I was expecting. I was expecting quite a commercial, um, commercial fit, I suppose, but it's not. It's, it's, Fantastic, it really, I mean, he sounds incredible. Incredible. But coy wise, what I do is I'll stop here and then once they're in the bowl, I've sort of settled a bit, you know, we'll have a proper look. So there we go. So purchase wise, so we got the, uh, I can't really see, I'm stood in the light. Let me move around a bit. So we got the Ginrin Ochiba, which I'm chuffed at. I love an Ochiba, um, so much so. We've also come back. This is something I didn't think I'd be able to get hold of. Um, saw one in the um, Koi Talk magazine and uh, fell in love. So it's uh, a light Deutz Achiba, but this thing is a bit skitty. I've just, so the Deutz Achiba is just, oh, water's getting cold. Deutz Achiba is just incredible. Mm. Quality of the skin and it's just stunning. Look at it. It's a real nice bronze colour. Whereas the other Ochiba, the other Ochiba we've bought is Yaginrin, which a nice chocolatey Ochiba with the Ginrin scales. Again, beautiful quality. And then the last one that we bought is the Lemon Ogon. Ooh, yellow Ogon. Again, stunning fish. So, I'm happy as Larry with those. But uh, next time you see us, it'll be All England Koi Show. So, that's enough for this week. We've had ups, we've had downs. But uh, if you're going to the All England Koi Show, don't be afraid to come and say hello. It'd be nice to meet some people and uh, chat about your ponds. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get these in the pond and I'll catch you, catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.